A terrifying carjacking caught on surveillance video. Now neighbors in the Northeast Heights neighborhood believe new video could show the car tied to the crime. Here's News 13's Courtney Allen. Courtney. Jackie, the Gazolas family left Southeast Albuquerque several years ago after their home was broken into. They relocated in the Heights near Manal and Tramway thinking it was safer, but they're now finding themselves victims to crime again. What began as a typical Friday morning for 17 year old Sandia High student Sean Gazolas. Just heading to school. It was another regular day. Quickly turned life threatening. He thought he was going to shoot me because he had the gun right at my chest. Surveillance video shows a masked gunman wearing a bulletproof vest and hockey jersey demanding Sean's car keys. He was standing right here next to this house. He was standing like right about right here pointing the gun at me. The teen handed the keys over, ran inside, alerting his dad, gun! who then ran after the gunman, but didn't see his face since the car's windows were still covered in frost. When I ran to the car and I grabbed the, I grabbed the door handle and it was locked. He kept going down and he turned. While the scene was terrifying for the family. It's just hard for me to relax now in my own home. And when I just walk out, I can't like just stop looking back and forth. Neighbors aren't surprised by the crime. In this neighborhood, we have had crime. The houses on both sides of Stephen McHenry have been burglarized in the past year. Across the street, Linda Mitchell caught this guy breaking into a car in her driveway in February 2018. We're just helpless. We're being preyed upon by people that uh, uh, make this a way of life. Mitchell says her home surveillance caught a car driving toward the Gazolas household Friday morning, then appearing in the Gazolas' doorbell footage just minutes before the robbery. Neighbors suspect that's the car that dropped off the criminal. There it is. Now we know that's the car. Sean and his dad hope whoever seems to be targeting this neighborhood are caught and held responsible. Just hurting like, just like kids like me, just trying to be a normal person is a terrible thing to do. Mitchell says she is handing over her video to detectives. APD tells News 13 their robbery unit is investigating and that Sean did the right thing by handing over the keys to avoid getting hurt. Jackie, back to you. Okay, thanks, Courtney. Sean's car that was stolen is a gray 2007 Toyota Camry with license plate NJM801. Anyone with information is asked to call APD.